All right, hey guys, I'm Sean Stone. And I'm Jay Bates. And today's question comes from Dave. He says, I am looking to buy a new air compressor for woodworking only and wonder what size I need. So if you don't mind, I'll just jump right into this. Uh, so when I first got into woodworking, uh, you know, I just went and just got stuff I didn't need basically. And one of those things was a large air compressor. So I had a 20 gallon air compressor here in the shop and <laughs> really all I used it for was shooting brad nails and so i quickly realized i didn't need that but i kept it for a while and it just one thing led into another and it was just more than i wanted to put up with so since i have gotten rid of that 20 gallon air compressor and have gone to a one gallon air compressor huge difference but it suits my needs yes and then also your old one versus your new one and volume You're, he's got a new one right now that is it's a one gallon like you said and it is insanely quiet yeah it's super quiet the other one you just had to have you had to have hearing protection if you want to cut it on uh, with this one and it was in a closet by the way and mm -hmm. it was still loud but this one it's out here in the open it's in my assembly table and it's you know you could talk just like this while it's filling up so and that one gallon compressor handles everything that you yeah. need here in the shop yeah and so even if i'm airing up a tire or something it requires more than a gallon of air it's really fast you know to uh fill up and so so what tools do you use with the air compressor so brad nails mm -hmm. or excuse me air guns nail guns that kind of thing and then just airing up a bicycle tire occasionally that kind of thing and blowing off like, yeah i try not to do that but yeah. if i need to I, I i would rather you know shot back everything but well, yeah. just just as a perspective of his the size of the compressor versus the needs rather right yeah so for me, I had I've, I've had two compressors in my life. Uh, one is a five horsepower, twenty gallon air compressor, um, and it's one of those oilless ones, which are insanely loud and obnoxious, and just make you want to pull your hair out. Um, I've had that one, and I also had like a two gallon pancake style compressor. Mm -hmm. Both of them were insanely loud. Uh, I ended up giving away the pancake one because I. Uh, had the larger one piped into my shop basically and I didn't need the smaller one I had the smaller one mainly for uh, trim work when I was doing previous work um, so and, and I'm in the process of actually selling or giving away my current uh, 20 gallon air compressor because quite frankly I never use it uh, what I would use a air compressor for is brad nails and nail guns like he said mm. and then also an occasional uh, HVLP gravity fed spray gun. I haven't really sprayed anything in several, about a year or two, something yep. like that, in quite a while actually. Um, so I can't justify that big space in my shop just for spraying something when there's alternatives to spraying, uh, especially considering that that air compressor is crazy loud and obnoxious. I also use a battery powered nail gun now instead of a core uh, air hose powered one, which uh. is convenience just tremendous so i mean you pretty much have just eliminated the use of an air compressor pretty besides much, yeah. you know the occasional tire yeah or so whatever so after seeing this one that he's got now that's crazy quiet i'm probably going to go to something like that that is really quiet that will help me you know air up the lawn more tires if, if something like that comes up but as far as my workflow in the shop i've haven't had the need for it so that brings us to actually answering the question of what he what the person needs yeah. and that is a personal question personal preference but yeah and basically figure out what you're going to be using it for mm -hmm. and let that determine the size of the compressor and dave here he mentions that this is for for woodworking only but then you know it also you need also need to know what are you going to be using that for with your woodworking yeah what tools you know so i mean because you, if you're going to be doing a lot of uh sanding um pneumatic sanders and that kind of thing then you you, you do need a larger air compressor you do need a larger volume and then also i will say if you do want to get into hvlp spraying with it with air compressor power uh my little pancake compressor it was a two horse or two gallon air compressor it simply didn't have the volume to keep mm. up with it so if you do want to do spraying like that, I would recommend trying to find something in the range of that 20 gallon, five horse unit, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I just think it all comes down to, you know, preference and then also what are you going to be using it for? So, and then most importantly with any tool purchase, I, my recommendation is always to never buy anything 
that you think you'll use only buy stuff when there's a need for it because you'll end up mm. your your dollars will go far your your currency wherever you're at your money will go further and you're less likely to buy something that's just sitting there collecting dust yeah and i'll touch on that just for a second because the reason i got the 20 gallon number one i thought okay i need that 20 gallon air compressor which i didn't but it was also uh, a deal on craigslist or you know whatever so it was used and so i could get it for a better price yeah that makes sense to buy it then so i did that but you know if you look elsewhere for you know something smaller or you know if you save that money you could get a better quality air compressor later down the road um but i'm like i'm with jay don't buy something until you actually need something yeah yeah so all right guys i think that's it see you later later how was that <laughs> You're out okay <laughs> he's gonna do this one by himself coffee all right <laughs> All right, hey guys, I'm Sean. I'm still laughing, I'm sorry. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. And scene. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Sean Stone. And I'm David Hasselhoff. Okay. Hi, hey, David. Yeah. So today's question is from Dave. He is looking for an air compressor, and I'll just read his question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Let's start over. All right. What does he say? Are you looking at the monitor or the lens? I'm looking at the lens. And then peripheral vision, making sure. Yeah, I'm just kind of every now and then glancing up to make sure I'm in frame. Yeah. All right, hey guys, I'm Sean Stone. And I'm Jay Bates. And today's question comes from Dave.